Mental health issues, we all suffer from them. Some people have learned through a Christ-centered program called Fresh Hope to live with them. That's today. So how has Fresh Hope helped you? Did you have a I am spiritual functional. Okay. I when I first walked in, I I could barely say two words. I whispered, I didn't talk in the large group at all. I knew I needed something more. And I had always been kind of social in high school and in college. And I figured that that was a skill that I had that I could fall back on. And I needed people around me. And most important, people who had been there, who had been at that beginning of the tunnel and not seen the light because the road curves all over the place. But it was so encouraging to have other people say, I've been there. It sucks. It's going to get worse. But you'll get there. You'll you'll see the light. I want to switch over Thank here you, to Brian yeah, for a minute. Now, Brian, you are a part of Fresh Hope, this group, but you come in as a, uh, what, what do you call them, a support person? I, I'm a loved one. Okay. So it, it, who in your family suffers from a hurt habit or hang up? My uh, son, my youngest son. Okay. And how old is he? He is 22 now. Okay. I have, I have three children and he is uh, typically, uh, statistics show that one in three uh, mental health institutions also. Down. Okay. But he got better. And of course, I was coming to Fresh Hope. If you mind, if I go with my story here, yeah. um, I was going to Fresh Hope, but my son and I, because I put him in the hospital, he was, he didn't call me dad. I was just Brian. Okay. You know, he'd barely talked to me. And um, it was through coming to Fresh Hope in, in those early days that, you know, the Holy Spirit speaks through others. Right. As you say, and this time it spoke through Brad. The, uh, the facilitator of the group. Hefs. And uh, Brad looked at me and uh, he said, uh, your son is not his mother. Mm. Because everybody, bipolar comes in so many different varieties. Yeah. And that I was treating my, my son like I was treating, like I had treated my wife at the time and how I'd react. Oh, and cool. So forth. That, was, that was an important move. And that was, an, and so um, Brad said to me that three times that uh, your son is not his mother. And so I went home that night, and repeated the same thing to my son. And my son said, I, I know I'm not. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. And then the next morning, dialogue began. He, he wanted to start going back to high school. And so that, awesome. that was the Holy Spirit, I truly believe, working because I come to find out my son's worst fear is being becoming his mother, mm, mm. And, and so bet, by me saying that, yeah, I was going to say, it just what a, opened it up. What a gift you gave him when you finally said to him, "You're not your mother. You're not your mother." That's amazing, Brian. Thank you. All right. So, um, what was the worst part about your life before you found Fresh Hope? Before you got help? Almost losing my husband. Okay. You guys had marital situation. And, and what, if he were sitting here, what would he tell me was his, um, was his challenge, was his problem? Not a, I didn't mean problem. That came out wrong. What, what was his challenge with the marriage? That he lost me. Okay. And, and, and so it got worse as you had children or as you got older? Um, after... Actually, things were okay um, until after my third child was born, um, something just changed. I was on the same medication um, for depression that I had always been on, um, but something stopped. This, it just felt like it stopped working. Okay. And um, at that time, I was not informed as I am now um, since coming to Fresh Hope. I've learned so much um, from so many people and 
uh, Pastor Brad, especially. Um, but not knowing what I know now, um, I made some poor choices and went off the medication myself. Mm-hmm. And um, knowing now that I'm very lucky because many suicides happen yeah. for from people going off medication on their own. Yeah, it, w- mm-hmm. is that right? Um, so what was it that saved your marriage? Was it fresh hope? Was it, was it getting on a different medication? It's all obviously by the grace of God. It was God. Okay. God brought me to fresh hope. Okay. I mean. Did you have God in your life before? I knew God. I've always known God. Okay. Um, but I've lost him. You know, I've drifted away from him and um, he brought me back and he brought me to fresh hope. And I remember feeling so lost and uh, there was a time um, to be, to try to sum things up after I went off the medication, we went through the worst year of our marriage um, ever and we... I can't believe that he didn't leave me. Um, But he knew that I was still there, in there somewhere. And he fought really hard to get me back. And um, after going, after learning more about medication and doctors, um, another thing that I've learned from Fresh Hope is how important it is to see a specialist Mm -hmm. Not just a general practice doctor. Someone who specializes Someone in who bipolar. Someone who specializes okay. in mental health disorders. Okay. Psychiatrist, psychologist who can lead you to a psychiatrist. Um, because my general practice doctor put me on a medication that I should not have been on. Mm. Which mm. led me to a place where I almost took my own life. Well, we're glad you didn't. And sorry, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you for being, sounds like you married (laughs) an angel too. 